you're here, if you're just finding me, a big welcome. And if you are returning, a big welcome back. Thank you for always coming to my channel and supporting. Now, today, of course, is a little different video. It is weigh-in day, but I also have to get ready to go to town. My best friend of 47 years is coming back up to visit, and we're going to go yarn shopping and Sam's and Walmart. I have to look for something for JD's graduation that's upcoming, and so I thought while I got ready, I would just do a little chit-chat. So, excuse the look. Hopefully, when I get finished, it'll be a lot better looking. And I'm trying out my new face tracking camera. So I don't know how the video is going to look. I hope it's not choppy and um, kind of distorted, but I wanted to try it out because it was a gift that I got and I wanted to try it out. So here we are. And I have no glasses on, so I cannot really see clearly myself. So hopefully, all goes well. I'm going to look in the mirror, put on my makeup, and we'll chit chat along the way. All right, so here we go. Um, I have found, I'm going to show you that I'm not sponsored. I don't know if you can see it. This is Laura Geller makeup. I have found this and I absolutely love it. I think for my older, more wrinkled skin, um, this doesn't settle, it, settle into the lines and all that. And I just feel like it looks a lot better on my skin and I have the fair, but I think next time I order it, I'm going to order it one shade up. So I'm going to start putting this on anyway, on the way in chit chat. Uh, first of all, I want to give y'all an update on Sean. Um, so many of y'all follow him and enjoy hearing how his week went and he's been like me. He's had a couple of little glitches lately and decided that he needed to get back on track. He needed to start tracking again, literally. And he is down 0.8 this week. So bravo, Sean. He didn't give up. He had a couple weeks where he just kind of got off track, but he's back on track now. So I'm very proud of him. Okay. Now uh, I posted in D's group this morning, my weight, my weigh in. I gained a pound this week. I gained a pound last week. I didn't do a video last week. I was not feeling well. My, my stomach issues have been really terrible. I have not got my medicine regulated and it's just been a disaster. So I didn't do a video last week. Um, but last week I gained a pound. This week I gained a pound. So I'm up two pounds for the month. I'm still well within my goal, but I don't feel good. I don't feel good knowing that I have let my stress um, sort of overtake me and I've fallen back into my stress eating habits. I know that um, several of you have told me that y'all have the same issues about stress eating. And I just always like to be honest and just let y'all know um, kind of where I'm at. I, I don't like to hide things. I'm not proud that I kind of fell back into my old my old ways and I know that if I don't get a handle on it that I'm gonna go way out of my range I'm gonna be over goal and I don't I don't want that um and it it does honestly does not help my stomach issues at all um it makes my stomach issues worse and so I've just let stress kind of overtake me and um that's where I'm at with that so um I'm I'm I feel like I'm I'm gonna get back on track this week i made a good solid plan for my food. In fact, I have no peak chicken um, in the crock pot. So dinner, uh, a low point dinner under five points per serving is in the crock pot. Maybe I'll film that for you. And I haven't filmed any food lately. Um, just haven't, haven't had my mojo, but it's coming back, I promise. So anyway, I have my dinner planned. I have my lunch planned. I've already had my breakfast and I'm just gonna take it one day at a time. I mean. That's all I can do is one day at a time. I cannot stress about what last week was or the week before that was because that does not do us any good. Um, it's, it's not going to help me get back on track. All I can do is go forward um, and, and do better. So that is my plan. Um, this is also Laura Geller. This is a little palette. It's got a bronzer, a highlighter, and a couple eyeshadows and a blush. So... I got, I got all of that as a, like a bundle on, on Laura Geller. I think it was on sale. I think it was like, I don't know, maybe we ship it. It was like $60, um, which for all of that, including the foundation is, is not bad at all. So, um, anyway, just not a good weigh-in week. 
but I know what I did. I know, I know why I did it. Um, I have a lot of stress this month. This whole month is stress ridden. Both of my in-laws are not doing well. My mother-in-law has Alzheimer's, early Alzheimer's. My father-in-law has some very major health issues that we're fixing to have to deal with. He's probably gonna have to have a couple surgeries. He's her caregiver because they live 600 miles away. And um, it's very difficult for us to care for them. We are trying to talk him into moving closer. So far, no luck. So that is stressful because I know that coming up really soon, I am going to have to make some trips to Louisiana to help care for them. And it means I put my life on hold here. Um, I leave Sean by himself. I leave my business. It's just stressful. And so I just haven't handled that well. I have, <laughs> I have not handled that well. I have eaten my way through the stress. Uh, JD is graduating the end of this month. Um, two more functions for him this month. They're happy times. Graduation is a happy time, but it's also stressful. It's a new, a new path in his life. It's an extra new path in our life because while we've been empty nesters for four years, now he's really going to be a full-fledged adult out on his own, um, and doing marvelous, wonderful things. We're so proud of him. But as a mother, I'm a little bit sad. I miss him. We are very close. And um, those of you that know me, I've not handled empty nesting well. I mean, I'm the poster child for what did not to do as an empty nester, but it's what I've done. So um, I'm trying to deal with that stress. And again, when I stress, I overeat. And when I overeat, the scale goes up. So I'm just trying to get my head back in the game. Uh, I know some of you probably can can understand that. Um, it's, you know, it's hard um, when we turn to food as stress, but it's turn to food when we stress. But I mean, I guess the plus is that we recognize it and we just try to move on from it and learn from it. And that's all that we can do. I'm, I'm super hard on myself. I'm, I'm a perfectionist and I'm hard on myself. Um, I do all those things that I tell everybody else not to do. Uh, you know, I would say, well, um, what would you say to a friend? Well, I say all the things to myself that I would never say to a friend. And I recognize that. And I'm, oh, got a piece of hair. And I'm trying to deal with that. And I'm trying to be better. Um, but I'm hard on myself. And I'm, I am sort of in that glitch for the last couple of weeks where I've been hard on myself and then I oversnack. I'm hard on myself and I oversnack. So I recognize it. I know that I've got to, I've got to change it. Um, and so I'm working on that. I just want you to know that you are not alone. If, if that is what you do, you are not alone. We can change it as long as we recognize it. We have to recognize it. If, if we, if we can't recognize what we're doing and why we're doing it, we can't change things. So, I know that my glitch can be overcome. Uh, Sean is overcoming his and he is back on track and he's tracking and we are a wonderful support team for each other. So I know that he's there for me to help me. Um, and I need a little extra help right now. I need him to say, hey, you know, not to get on my plate as a food police, but I just need him to kind of check me. And he will, he'll check me in a loving, kind way. And um, I hope that all of you that might be struggling in this area, I hope that you have someone that will help check you or message me and I'll help check you in a loving way. Um, we are in this together. This community is big and wide and whether you're doing Weight Watchers or you're doing healthy or you're clean eating or you're keto, we all need, we all need help. And that's the beauty of this community is that we don't judge. We help one another. We love one another and we just get through the little glitches of life because this is a journey. I mean, this is not one week or two weeks and it's not the be all end all. It's a journey. And um, if we can't learn to recognize, you know, our, our glitches, we're not going to have a very good journey. We're going to quit. We're going to stop. We're going to take the little pit stop and we're not going to get back on the road. And we don't, we don't want to do that. We don't want to, I just lost my mascara guys. We don't want to just get off the road. Um, and so it's a lifelong journey. And I think we learn more from the pit stops than we learn from the destination is itself. And so 
I am getting my joy back in my journey. Um, today, I'm doing something for myself. I'm going to go shopping with my friend. I'm going to crochet. She wants to learn how to do my little turtle that I've been selling. So, I'm going to make show her how to make the little turtle. And we're going to have fun. And we're going to uplift each other. And today, that's my joy. Um, being able to spend my day with her and go out and laugh and have a fun time. And um, I, I want you every day to be able to find something that you're joyful about in this journey. If we can't find the joy in this journey, man, it's going to be long. And it is it is not going to be worth it in the end. Um, and we, you know, Becky Pfeiffer um, posted a meme not long ago in Dee's group about not waiting for the wait. And, you know, I can so relate to that. Um, for a long time, I did not lose weight. I missed out on a significant part of my older two children's lives and probably 10 years, no, not 10 years, eight, seven, seven years of my little ones, you know, my now graduating son, because I was ashamed. I was ashamed of the weight. I didn't want to be seen in public. I didn't want to participate because I was embarrassed. And I just waited and waited and all of that time, you know, I missed and I don't, I don't want that for you. And so I want you to stop waiting. I want you to get on your journey. I want you to um, enjoy your journey, find the joy in your journey and put yourself first. It's not selfish if you are putting yourself first to get healthy. If you are healthy and you're loving yourself, and you're recognizing the things that can uh, stall your journey, then um, you're gonna be better for everybody else. And so that's why I tell you every time I do a video, put yourself first today just once and get out and find the joy in your journey because you are worth it. You are worth not waiting, you know, waiting for the wait and you are worth this journey. And I'm gonna be on the journey with you. I'm still learning, I'm still growing 15 years later. I am still growing and learning and going forward. So, I don't know. I hope you didn't think this was too preachy. I didn't want it to be preachy. I just want you to know that you're not alone. You're not alone in your struggles. This week, two weeks has been a struggle for me, but we are not alone. We just have to reach out and tell people we're struggling and accept the help. So, that's hard for me. I'm not one that reaches out. I'm the one that helps. I'm a helper. So it's hard for me to accept the help, but I like you. I'm reaching out. I'm telling you, this is what's going on in my life and we can do it. So if you're where I'm at, we can do it. So this week is a new week for me, a brand new week. And so I'm going to see what happens this week and I'm going to find joy every day whether it's crocheting, whether it's working in my office, whether it's laughing with Sean in the kitchen because he's so darn funny. I wish we had a camera I could show y'all all the time. But there's lots of joy. There's joy knowing my son is graduating and we've raised him to be a fine young man and to go out into the, to the world. There's joy in that. There's joy in knowing that, that soon maybe my in-laws will be here and I'll be able to care for them in their later years like they cared for for my wonderful husband. There's joy in everything. We just have to find it. And so that is my wish for you this week. Find the joy in the journey and just stay on the road. So I'm going to get off here. I think my face is it's a lot more presentable than when I started. <laughs> I'm going to fix my hair a little bit and I'll be ready when my friend gets here and we're going to go have a fun day. So I want you to do something for yourself today. Put yourself first once. I want you to find something today that brings joy to your journey. Share it with me in the comments. And if you like anything that I post, please like and comment and share this with someone that you love that might be on the same journey with you and um, we will grow our community together. Now I'm going to get off here and I want to say I love you all very much and I'll see y'all soon. Bye!